All right, guys, you're about to watch the best core routine for runners or anybody looking for a stronger core. All right, guys, look, everybody wants to know how do I get a strong core? And, you know, there's videos all over the internet about six minute abs and, and, uh, all these different core routines that promise a six pack in six weeks and whatever all crap is out there. I think all these videos are dumb, all right? Um, everybody wants to get a strong core. Yeah, I think a strong core is really important, but um, a lot of the resources out there just have you wasting time doing useless exercises. So I've come up with a routine that has really worked for me and um, it's basically five exercises. That's it. You just uh, repeat it for three to five rounds and uh, we'll get started here in just a second. All right guys, the first exercise we're gonna start with is flutter kicks. That's gonna primarily work your rectus abdominis, so your six pack muscles, uh, but also your hip flexors, and uh, should be engaging all of this um, in your central front core, right? So your obliques, um, if you do it right, and, and crunch, even your serratus muscles. So all of this should be engaged, and um, man, you know, I called out all these videos for being stupid and giving useless exercises, but y'all are watching a guy with a Mountain Dew hat do uh, flutter kicks. That's kind of interesting. But uh, so really all it is is you get in this, this kind of V formation, all right, engage the core, and then you can put your hands behind your head, or if it makes it easier, put them on the ground, and uh, just flutter back and forth. So one round of these um, will just be 100. Also, be mindful um, of how you keep your legs. So, a lot of people lock out their knees. I have a slight bend, but it's almost undetectable uh, when you watch. And I'm also dorsiflexing my feet, which means I'm bringing my toes back to me, um, toward my body. And that keeps everything in line, keeps everything engaged. And um, it's a good exercise. All right, guys, next is single leg glute bridges. All right, so a traditional glute bridge would be lay here on your back, bring your legs up, bring your, engage your glutes, right? Create this bridge. Now, an exercise like that, if I can, I prefer to work everything unilaterally, so one leg at a time. And so that's what we'll do with these. Um, so for the first, uh, for the first, set of it we'll we'll work the uh we'll bring the right leg up to our body and have the left leg out straight just like this all right head back hands on the ground and then up all right so that's one two three four five all right so you can do this to ten and then switch legs, and it's just the same thing on the next side. One, two, three, four. All right, so when you do these, focus on that pause at the top. All right, really engage your glutes. This is working all of your glute muscles, right? So your glute max, your glute min, your glute med. Um, all of those muscles are really firing and really engaging, and even your hamstring. So it's a great exercise for for the, the, the power um, in your back end, right? That's the power that you get when you're running or, or doing any kind of squat or um, power movement is you need to engage your glutes. So that's what that exercise is for. All right, so next exercise is side lying leg raises. Uh, so we'll do these unilaterally. So one leg at a time as well. And this is primarily gonna work um, some smaller muscles in your legs, uh, your TFL. Um, which is located right here in between your hip joint. Um, and also your abductors and adductors come into play here if you're doing them right. Um, this is a very good exercise that works often neglected muscles for runners. You know, running is a forward and backward sport, right? You're just moving forward. You're not really moving side to side. However, if you're getting into trail running or you just want an overall stronger foundation, 
you need to work all of these muscles uh, because they will get weak and you'll have um, certain muscles that get really dominant and then you'll get out of whack. So the sideline leg raise is really simple. It's just what it says. You lie on your side here, have that dorsiflexion in your foot, lock out the leg and then up. Really focus on the up, have a pause at the top and bring it down slow. So you can do 10 on each side. Next, roll over to the next side, repeat with the next leg. All right guys, the fourth exercise is donkey kicks. And this one looks pretty stupid, uh, but it's a really good exercise. It's, it's an absolute hamstring crusher. And I would do this, I, I would do some heavier movements to strengthen your hamstrings, like in the gym with a barbell. But this right here is something you can easily do uh, like in this routine where you just get on the ground and you can light your hamstrings up. And like I said, it's very simple. Uh, we'll work these one leg at a time as well. So you'll start in this position here and you'll bring your right leg up to your chest and then out. All right, so you're going to keep that bend in your leg like this the whole time, right? So boom, 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 boom. Once again, that pause at the top of the movement will really engage your hamstring and even some of your glute and make it really challenging. Repeat on the next side and you're good to go. If you don't mind looking silly, that's a great exercise. All right guys, for the final exercise, we're gonna get up off the ground and do lunges. Now this really works a ton of the muscles in your legs, but it can really hone in on the glute med which is often so weak in runners and just everybody in general from sitting all day long and, and the, the sedentary lifestyle that so many of us live. So uh, get up off the ground and work these legs unilaterally as well. It's just one leg at a time, but it's just a basic lunge, right? So down here, now you want a, a pause here at the bottom, just like every movement to really engage. Don't want this knee to touch, uh, just get it six six inches away from the ground something like that and then back up all right and I'm on some rocks here I got a little unsteady but it brings me to my next point of how you want to drive up from these right so you get down here you do your pause and if you're coming back like this you want to kind of explode back all right and it'll work on engaging that hamstring as you come back up so ten of these on each leg and you're good to go all right guys so to recap uh, it's a really simple core routine. It's just five exercises. It's flutter kicks. It's single leg glute bridges. It's side lying leg raises. It's donkey kicks. And it's lunges. All right, so this core routine is focusing on all of the necessary movements to get a stronger core. We're not really neglecting any uh, muscle uh, with this core routine, and it's just five movements. And it's super simple and quick to do. Uh, it could probably take 10 to 15 minutes. I would recommend doing three to five rounds of what I just listed with 100, starting with around 100 flutter kicks and then 10, uh, 10 reps on each leg uh, for the rest of the movements. And uh, yeah, doing that for three to five rounds a couple times a week should be good to go. A lot of the sedentary lifestyles that we live, um, our cores are weak, man. So hopefully this, this helps some of you guys. And uh, let us know if it helped you. Let us know if you like this type of video, if you found, found value in it. Um, like and leave us a comment uh, and subscribe to the channel. If you don't know how to subscribe, it's that big red button that says subscribe. And uh, you can click that. Thank y'all. All right, guys. Thanks for watching again. Um, you know, I've never had trouble with my IT band. But if you have, check out uh, our latest video on the channel. Um, how to recover from IT band syndrome and What the crap man, yeah, that's Somebody give me a daggone microphone <laughs> Somebody give me a microphone